Hello everybody, Keith Henry here with the great news from yesterday. Coppin State Volleyball, where it's a Coppin State victory and a hard fought one as your Lady Eagles knocked off North Carolina A&T at Moore Gymnasium in five games. 25 12, 25 23, 20 25, 21 25, and 16 to 14. That was a doozy in Greensboro, North Carolina. As two Eagles recorded double doubles, Andres Vetanova, 51 assists and 17 digs, and Miyaja Von Coleman, 18 kills and 10 digs. And Two, two others got two, two, two others got double digits. Uh, you know, it was Miller Green, 10 kills. Amara Williams, 11 kills for your Lady Eagles. Ashley Roman stepped up big as usual, 30 digs in the, in the match. Up and down, Coppin won the first two games. North Carolina A&T fought back. Won the last two games, especially game four when they overcame a 12-7 deficit to win 25-21. Then game five, back and forth, both teams leading. But then it came down to several match point opportunities. Copping up 14-11, A&T fought back, knocked off all three match points to tie the game of 14, but the transfer from Florida International, Yanaris Miller Green with the 10 kills, two of them were the difference as she put the last two of those kills down to win the game and the match. This is the fourth straight year Coppin has led off the season with a huge victory. Um, later on today, they go to UNC Greensboro. They take on the Spartans at 11 a.m. for the first match. Then after that, they head back to Moore Gymnasium on the campus of North Carolina a and and they take on Bethune-Cookman. That, that'll be a 4 o'clock first serve. And that'll be for that one. In other... Matches involving Maryland MEAC teams. The head coach, the new, your new head coach of Morgan State University, Ziomar Ortiz, her Bears got got the season started not on the right foot as they lose the first match to Charlotte 49ers early Sunday morning, 20, um, 25-14, 25-16, and 25-15 to the 49ers of Charlotte. And then in the night match, they drop their game to Campbell, three games to nine, 25-16, 25-20, and 25-17. Later on today, they take on Wofford before coming back here to Baltimore to do what they had to do, rest up for the next tournament which will be at Towson starting Friday. They take on Wofford at 5 p.m. As for Maryland Eastern Shore, hard-fought five-game match, but it didn't end their way as host Binghamton knocked off the Lady Hawks 3-2. 25-13, 22-25, 20 25-25, 20 25-22, and 15-7 in Vestal, New York. Later on today, Eastern Shore will take on Siena, and then they have a Power 5 they're taking on at 4.30 p.m. That is Boston College or the ACC. And that will be it for that one. In other, in other volleyball news, trends, uh, former Copper Knights have moved on, and I have some updates here. Rebecca Owey, Graduated Coppin. She's moved on to Rollins and is playing for them. They they play they played yesterday and dropped drop both matches 
over Napa, Idaho to Azusa Pacific and Northwest Nazarene. It was swapped by them. But in the matches, we back at Aoi. Two aces and a dig she recorded against Azusa Pacific and against Northwest Nazarene. A kill, an assist, and seven digs. Hopefully, tomorrow we have some better news for for a Rollins team. And we'll and I'll let you know what happens there. On to Temple, which you did touch transferred over to over to Philadelphia. And she's playing for the Temple Owls. She had she had two matches yesterday. Got swept by Seton Hall, but she recorded two kills and three blocks total. And then won an exciting night match against uh, the Delaware Blue Hands 3-2. She recorded six kills, two aces, and one and a half blocks. Yes, folks, that will be all for this morning. Keith Henry, I'll have everything what's going on later on today. God bless. See you later.